the lock up in the middle of the ring, and the superior wrestling family background of Edward Starr Jr. has, in, has the, it's given him the advantage so far in the match. Chaining together maneuvers. Shin breaker in the corner. Star drops the point of the elbow on the chest, and Nassar finally gets his first move off. Star's been all over him so far in the early going of this match. An impressive flapjack from the Persian prince of oil and gasoline and other assorted Saudi Arabian goods. I don't know. He's rich. He wants to be a wrestler. I don't. I don't follow who owns a bunch of oil and whatever else you own in Saudi Arabia. Sand, I guess. There's some very impressive technical wrestling going on here. Edward Starr Jr. being from the Starr family has definitely been training with them since I'm sure he could walk. And Amir might have got a later start, but with his billions of dollars of riches, I know that he's purchased the best uh, Saudi Arabian wrestlers of all time to train him, so... This should be pretty close, I think. Although the experience, I definitely have to go to Edward. And that money paid off. He knows how to escape a figure four. Well done, Amir. Picture perfect uh, vertical suplex there by Amir. I hate, to st I hate to be one to steal bad catchphrases, but that was a vintage star clothesline. Star deciding to torment the Spanish announce table. Don't know why, but I don't care. Go to the Spanish announce table.
They both notice the refs count and both run into the ring pretty quick. I've noticed during the course of this match that Amir seems to really favor using those knees. Interesting style choice. From the knee to the back to the sharp knee he threw earlier. He's strong too, just tossed Edward all the way over the top rope. Come over into the announcer area. And into the barricade repeatedly. Oh, and Star with a vicious looking move out there on the floor. I don't know if America can recover from that. And a backbreaker out there on the floor. Looks like Edward wants to win in the ring, though. Probably the most honorable thing about his family. He's in the ring, and Suplex is him back in. Drops the elbow on the knee. Apparently he saw what I saw. Looked like he was flipping in to do a weird leg attack of some kind, but it appeared to just clip Amir, if anything. Amir tosses him back over the ropes. That's a long way down. A headbutt on the outside. And a pile driver on the floor. Had to pay for the finest Persian doctors after this match. And he gets tossed into the stairs. Again, hurting that knee. Star using her showing experience beyond his years. Adjusting his strategy on the fly. And he's going to be paying off. I don't think a mere is in this match anymore. But I could be wrong, he just pulled him back in. One. Now Amir refuses to stay down. Mary toss him out of the ring again. He's got a look in his eyes. I'm kind of concerned. Started when we got here. I think he saw it too. But Amir does not care. He's throwing him out of the outside once again. Star throws him toward the 
throw the announce area, but Amir throws him there too. Casual throwing him in that same spot on the barricade. And he's got him in the corner here. What's he doing? Oh, he just speared him through the barricade. I'm not sure if either one of these two can get back up from that. Amir's back up and he's getting in the ring. They're just counting him. Edward is not moving. Star still not stirred. I said he's been counted out. Amir wins by count out. An amazing comeback after getting that weird move on the floor and then being pile drivered on the floor. He would have killed a lesser man, but he tackles him through that barricade and Star does not move. Your winner, Amir Nassar, the Persian Prince, living on his dream of wrestling and pro wrestling acts.